Welcome everybody to episode 21 of My Time at Porsche. I think we have a uh, martial arts tournament today. We also have a guild inspection, but I think we're going to miss it because martial arts tournament and we're in the first, oh, we're in the first bracket. We don't have to, well, okay, we do have to miss it because we'll be in the, yeah, we don't want to risk missing the second bracket. All right, we can do this thing. The heart knot represents a confession of love. When you give it to your special someone, it means you want to ask that someone out. Available at Alice's shop. It takes your dating from the less serious to the more serious levels. One. All right, no surprise visits this morning. Let us, okay, we have till 9.30. Well, actually we have till a little bit less. Let's just sort everything into the boxes. Beautiful. Now we have some space. We can set up our DD. that build that all right I know I'm watching the time it's all now this this is why you plant these trees because this is our first crop of Cristela and there's our first sapphire if you fertilize them you get a better chance of everything this is our nitre tree so and this is our apple tree these are pretty um, a really worthwhile way to to get stuff done let's just confirm everything with the manganese actually no we're not adding more manganese bars uh, we're gonna need them in a little minute though try and keep our carbon steel bars going while we're at um, at the tournament I might have to duck back to the shop it's 751 I'm getting a little bit nervous Uh, there we go. We're still going for the iron bars because we're going to be building things. So that's that's that. Okay, one hour till the martial arts tournament. Uh, yep. Let's see if we can just very quickly refuel all of these little burners so that they're running through the day. We now have enough enough copper to do the thing. I know I'm watching the clock tick down, it's really scary. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's get our copper bars up and running. I mean, we're going to go through those like a dose of salts pretty quick. Eight sixteen. And we are going to need an absolute ton of these things. All right, that's that's as far as I'm as 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 my courage can take it. We are going to zippity doo dah this way, and hopefully be able to get onto the platform in time. We might do our betting too. What we forgot yesterday, or what I forgot yesterday, is that you can bet on yourself and on the other opponents in the um in the fight so ooh, and i have another exclamation mark awesome we'll have to check that out so basically i can say i'm gonna win yep and i think mr mcd is gonna win that one see and i forgot to bet on all of these people here but anyway now that that's done, let's go talk to Mr. Django. He looks like he needs some help. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, young one. Got a problem with oh. our game room. Uh-huh. The electric box outside seems to have gone kaput. You think you can fix this one up for me? Yeah, I can do that. I'll do it straight after the match. All right. Here we go. 30 minutes, I think. 
let's just have a quick look at our missions. Well, that was our map, wasn't it? All right. Oh, oh no, poor Emily, and it's too late to go help her. Oh dear. Uh, power on for the electric box. And Arlo desires something. That's not what I'm here for, though. Missions. Ah, uh, missions. Fish you read about it. Emily as well. Oh my goodness, out. There's quite a few things there, isn't there? We've got some stuff in our backpack that we didn't have before. No, I'm not going to use the brick to win the match. Let me just... Okay, that's the tournament itself. Okay, so let me just have a look at these brackets again. All right, so that's at 9.30 and that's at 12. And that's at 2.30. I should be able to get back to Emily in time to do chicken run uh, pretty quick. We'll see. My match is about to begin. Please go on the stage. Sure. Let me in. I know. I can't help it. All right. I'm, again, I'm not sure where Martha's going to stand, so we'll just give her a minute to arrive. Okay. So she's just going to stand over there. Okay, let's get going again. All right. And that was two rounds. All right, we've got a couple of hours. Let's go and... Um, Let's go rescue Emily from her chickens. Because I think the next match starts at 12.30 and uh, this one starts at... And the, the winner's match should start at 2.30. So, if we're really quick, we might be able to... What does that require? Not enough materials, okay, I'll have to look it up. I'm being lazy. All right, so I'm not sure if Emily is still out here. Or if she goes inside at a certain time. I don't see her. Oh, no, there she is. Let's go rescue Emily. She really needs to stop spoiling these chickens. Hey! Here they go again! You Bam. take a breather. Thanks for your help. These little things had enough. Yeah, and you should know better than to leave them out here on a on a on a martial arts tournament, Dan. I'm just glad you weren't competing, you've been disqualified. I mean, it doesn't take really long to do this, but this is why on a Saturday morning, at least in this stage of the game, you should be checking your um thing. Sorry to bother you again. You're such a nice person. Oh, uh, not really. In return, here are some eggs. I really, really appreciate your help. You're welcome. I'll see you at the tournament, huh? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to roar over to... It's 1235... Try to remember when my match is. 2.30. Alright, so if we're really quick, so we can't make any mistakes, and if we get stuck, we have to just hammer out of it. So let's see if we can get this done. I know. Lay in with fire. Want to be out of there by half past one. I know I'm rushing so I'm likely to miss something or make it hard for myself when it doesn't need to be 
Okay, now we really need to get down to the tournament before we, we lose our space. I did this one day and I actually forgot. Uh, not forgot, I actually didn't get back in time. So I was disqualified. I was a very sad panda. How you doing? Yeah? And I got, I remembered that I have your dog food on board today. You're welcome, Papa. All right. So we are going to hoof it this way. All right, so Mr. McD McD and Dr. Zhu are still going. And we can, actually we can't bet on ourselves yet. Wow, Dr. Zhu is going to take Mr. McD out. I didn't see that coming. Fine. Well, I'm still betting on myself. So I didn't win this one, but I, I won that one. Let's um let's bet on ourselves again. You gotta remember to do this before each one. Hey Doc. I hope you brought your first D kit. Okay, view the bracket. Yeah, fourteen thirty. So we, we just made it just in time. And I don't know where the dock stands. Okay, he stands over there. Here we go. He whines, doesn't he? Absolutely whines. So we can't leave the arena. We've got 30 minutes to wait for the next one. Guess I can try for a better happy snap. Or maybe not. Look <laughs> at these guys cheering in the background. That's Albert. He's far too excited for his boots. Here we go. This way. I know one day I'm going to get beat up doing this. All right. That is that. Oh man, I hate sticking around for the applause. Uh, we've done our commerce commission. We have. You know what? We should get stuck into our tasks. I know, no rest for the wicked. Even if the wicked just won their tournament match. Alright, we've got no time limits on these. We didn't check our mailbox this morning. We are going to get this commerce commission done tonight though. Where? Oh, power on. Yep, so I need old parts and a silicon chip. Okay. And we'll zip this way. So we're just going to clear these few little things. Okay, look at this, portion sunsets. I know I rave about them every single episode, just about, but I see one and I love them. So let us very quickly go into our letterbox because we didn't check that this morning, we're in too much of a hurry. So participation reward for our martial arts badge, we get first aid kit, bubblefish stew and ocean's fortune, a yum yum. 
we get the predicting the winner of the final so we, we win a little bit more it's always worth betting on these things and for the other ones for the semi-final the research center the printing press diagram we are about to get busy and of course there is more because we were waiting for these construction crane diagram and the well pump diagram okay Okay, let's go and throw everything we've got into these. Sort all. Boom. Put our sapphire over there as well. Okay, let's just get out of here in a minute. Just let me go into foraging for wood. We'll put the iron wood in there. Looks like we have a couple of new relics, so we might just go and pop those away. Never know, we might get another horse out of it. It's looking promising. So there we go. Uh, thinking can. We only have one more piece on that. Uh, what do we got? We have some ingredients. So we can drop the ginger in there. Uh, okay, maybe not. Do I have an ingredients too? No, do I have an unnamed chest? All right, we might have to fix that later. Let's put uh, the ginger into the food then, just so that it's not in our backpack. Speaking of food and medicine, there's some bandages. Ocean's Fortune, we need to eat that. That can go. Okay, hit points. It's stem. Yeah. That's, um... We, we keep those on us because we're going to feed that to... What's his face? Oh, what do we got? We got a dagger. A small dagger. Miss Lucy's going to be happy with that, isn't she? And I think... We need to put the animal fat in the crafting box. There we go. Alright, let's just sort all these things up. Actually, we need to put that in the crafting box. And we need to put the bones in the farming box. For more fertilizer. Okay. Sort. Yep. That's what I thought. Ooh. And we have apples. So what we really need to do too is we also need to build our drying rack. And we should have done that ages ago. And we, we also need to build our stable, but we don't have the cash. So, let us get this DD done. Three rubber tires, one small angel, engine, a single seat, copper bars, glass, fiber cloth, and a single seat. Okay. I don't know if I can remember all that. Alrighty, let's start at the crafting box. Crafting one. No, that's clothing. I always do it. Small engine. Fiber cloth. Let's just pop these up here. Okay, small engine, fiber cloth. We need some glass. I'm pretty sure that's okay. So there's my answer to how much strength and glass do I have. We'll have to make a batch of that soon. Alright, so we need copper bars, we need glass, okay, copper bars and glass, rubber tyres and seats. Let us toddle over this way. We need two seats. Oh, there we go. See, we, we don't have to worry about remembering it. We can just craft up what we need by having it on the stand. If you don't have it on your um, assembly stand, then it's not going to happen. So that just makes it easy to remember everything you need. Uh, from At least from the work table. Alrighty, let's go with... We'll start with 8, I guess. Just get that out. And then we'll go to 7. And then we'll go to 6. And then we'll go to five. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought I hit five, I must have hit six. And then we'll go to four, and what am I missing? Rubber tires. Let's just grab these. Might as well put them there. All right, that's our commerce commission. Let's just put that away, radio. 
Uh, we now need to also find out what our well needs. So let's toddle that way. All right, I need a water storage. I can't remember if I ended up making two, so I'm going to just check. There's our water well. Steel plate, I need three of them. Bronze pipe, I've got enough bearings. Okay, so I need to make some bearings and I need to make some steel plate. Let's go get those cooking. I should have enough manganese to get the bearings up and running now. Tin alloy, dope. All right, well, that just means we're booting the manganese out of here and we're going to make some tin. I know, this is why you try and have 50 of these going at all times. We need another one of these big beasts too. I might see what I need, I need to create with them. All right, we have some ironwood planks. I would like to create more, but I think I'm out of... Yeah, let's go with the steel plate. So we are going to make 10 of them because we need more. We're going to refuel that, get that sun going. What else are we short on? I know we're short on copper plate as well, but, but then we'd be short on copper bars. We can't make igneous bricks yet. We need to get up onto the western plateau for that. Uh, we could get 100 boards up. Is it 8 twos, 168 fives, 140? That would eat most of our wood though, and I don't feel like doing another another wood run. Okay, let's let's slap on another bunch of hardwood planks. Yep, they're good. Fiber cloth, can I make any more? Let's make some more of that. That's generally a pretty good thing. All right, we've got that going. Uh, we want to keep this running through the night and I just clicked on the wrong thing I know I think it's time I, I upgraded these but what we're waiting on is the thing from the um, the resource center sorry the research center Duh. I know where's my head today don't ask I'm pretty sure I left it on the pillow sleeping while the rest of me went to work. Okay, what have we got? We're going to, like I said, we're going to very soon, we have to stock up wood for our um, our charcoal run. I don't want this to be finished by morning, so what I'll do is I'll just get some more of these running. I think this is probably the be best I've done for hardwood in any of my playthroughs. And it's all because I've found that you can get a lot of hardwood up on the um, up on that upper plane area, which, which I didn't know until now, so that's exciting. All right, so we can't do the water well. Not yet. Uh, what else have we got? The crane. All right. Pulleys I have enough of. Steel cables. Let's let's make... Yeah, we'll make some steel cables. I've got enough iron with planks. I need to make a hoister and I need to make some steel frames. Which means, you know what? I really, really have been slack on this thing. Uh, we need these industrial furnaces. All right. If I want to make another three or four to replace pretty much everything I've got, uh, I need 20. Okay, that's going to be a downer. How I many do I need? Two. So we're going to need eight, 20, and 20. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll just add some water here. So we're going to go for a ton of steel plate very, very soon. And 
we're going to put a ton of stuff back in our box. There we go. So that's got to go and that's got to go. We'll drop into our crafting. Oh, I know what we're doing. Just put that away and we'll put that away. So the other thing we're doing is we're grabbing these old parts and then we are grabbing from our chips box a silicon chip. And we're going to go and fix um, Mr. Django's thing. Oh, and I've completely forgotten to go deliver stuff to Antoine. It looks... Actually, it looks like he might still be at work. Let's... um, There it is. Let's fix this. Beautiful. That should keep him happy. Let's find... I oh, know, this should be closed. Oh, okay, he's not there. Oh, he's peeking at Dr. Shu, that's right. Sorry, Antoine, I don't mean to give you away or disturb you, but... Hey! Hey, I've got a commission for you. You're welcome. All right, now we got paid. Always a good thing. Let's go see if we can find Mr. Django. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? Looks like he went inside. All right, we can find him. We'll just let him know that the, um, the fuse box is fixed and his games room is up and running, although I suspect he already knows. Tis the season to be jolly. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Thank you for fixing the electric box. Now my game room can keep on running again. Oh, awesome. You're welcome, Mr. Jengu. So we've got a few more of those. I wanted to check and see if I had... Oh, I, I wanted to check and see what we needed for printing press. And the crane. And Emily's tank. I wanted to see if we had Emily's tank and her sprinklers done. I'm pretty sure we've got the sprinklers done. I just can't remember if we did the water tank. So let's check our backpack. All right, I was roaming around with it in the backpack for a little while. Uh, let us see if we can find the sprinklers. Pretty sure I stuffed them into crafting. There they are. Now, did I put the water tank in here? No, it may be I didn't have enough to do the water tank with. That's okay. Um, so let's just pop these away. Oops, get back here. Just toss that back in there. All right. So we need to make a water tank if we can. Uh, industrial furnace. All right. Printing press. We need our pulleys. We need our industrial engine. I can get a couple of grinding stones. We can, we can make that. We might make that tonight. Construction crane. I need some steel cables. We might grab that. I can't make the steel frame yet because I don't think I've got enough welding rods. All right, so we need that. Yes, yes. Okay, iron bars, copper pipes, hardwood planks. Oops, let's just get that up and running. So iron bars. copper pipe and hardwood planks. Let's go down to foraging for wood, hardwood planks, processed copper pipe and iron bars. All right, so this shouldn't take us too long. Let us drop in the hardwood planks, drop in the copper pipes and drop in the iron bars. All right, we'll grab that. So we've got two of the things we need for Emily, but we won't be able to put them in until we... Um, ah, not like we wanted. We won't be able to put them in until we've got everything else done. Ah, the well done. There we go. All right, so that's for Emily. That's for Emily. I think it's only four sprinklers. It might be five. We'll find out. It'll be easy enough to fix. Okay, Emily, Emily, you know what? Uh, let's just turn away from these. I have completely forgotten to eat my ocean's fortune and bring my attack up. There we go. Much better. We can build the printing press now, so we might as well do that.
All right, manganese, steel bars, industrial engines, grinding stones, and pulleys. Let's just grab everything else out. So, uh, manganese. Steel bars. Pulleys. There they are. And I think it was, was it two grinding stones or three? Oh, it'll tell me here. Three, there we go. All right, let us get this thing built. So we will place the, those, place those, and place those, yes. What have I, what am I missing? The industrial engine. Do, it's only half made. <laughs> okay, so we just need our, let's go into crafting one. I can't remember which crafting box it is. Those. There we go. There was one more thing. And drop that in there. Now we've got it. Let's pick that up. And we will toss that back. I know. Always put your toys away, right? <laughs> it works for it works for builders just as well as it works for kids. There we go. Okay. Let's just check what that thing is on my map. So that's Emily's well. Uh, looks like Maze in at the round table. We could go and drop. I know it's nearly midnight, but we can go and drop this off to May and we will have done at least two of our tasks. She, she stays up late, so. There she is. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Is that a printing press? Well, they yeah. have a bunch of them in the Atara office. Whoa! I can't believe we're going to have one in our office. Oh, you should. Thank you commissioned you so it. Thank you so much. I don't have any money right now, but if our newspaper starts to make more money, we'll pay you later with interest. How about that? Sure, when you can. All right. So we've done. We've just got Emily's well and and a bunch of furnaces to make. Let's um let's get this character to sleep, I think. We'll do one more day. But uh, if you are enjoying watching this little builder run her legs off, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more of her or other series in the Porsche uh, world please subscribe and um, we're going to get into another day I think let me just refuel everything I know these burners go through so much so we, we desperately need to have that um, the big furnace actually we also desperately need to be, be finding some more discs otherwise we're going to have a slow slow process for our next thing and we're going to have to go getting timber the next day, I think. I know, nothing terribly exciting. Okay, let's get this character off to sleep. <laughs> Look at this. This is why we can attack so well. We have massive horses in our tiny, tiny little house. And I'm looking forward to making a third one, but I think I'm going to have to make the house bigger before I get to that. We do need to look at expanding our, our house. It's just, just a given. Alrighty. That's that. Commerce Guild for our exemplary effort in discovering product issues. Thank you. Yes, the fire power generator. All right. And an important announcement at today's fireside thing in Peach Plaza. Oh, so much happening. This is this is like I said, my favorite 
favourite part of the game where everything is happening and um, it's I mean it's nice to catch a slow patch but I, I enjoy this part of the game the most okay we're gonna need some steel plate and bronze pipe and bearings uh, let us just grab our carbon steel bars I know I'm just gonna put all of this actually we're gonna get that no we're not all right we're just gonna keep going with this I was gonna say we're gonna get that into churning out um, carbon steel bars but we don't have that many so we're, um, we're just gonna get this to keep rolling we are running low on iron oh no I can see another trip to the iron mines coming up too but right now wood is our most desperate thing so we're going to head up onto the, um, the planes oops let me just refuel this this one uh, to do to do that and we also desperately need welding rods but we need the tin alloy first all right let's see if we've got enough to get a couple of bearings up and running I can get one one by this afternoon I'll have enough to get two but one is what we're at right now okay actually you know what we might not be that desperate to go timbering if I can get a furnace built let's uh, let's check check it out right I need a civil furnace I've got three I have an industrial engine I need ten steel plate and five copper coils We can we can make the copper coils no problems, but uh, making the steel plates going to be a problem. Let's just see how much we've got coming through. All right, uh, I am going to man. I know, right? Let's get two more up and running. Yeah, we are going to need another day of wood. I was hoping I could just build the um, the furnace, but that's not going to happen. So, so I will keep these rolling. So we also need. So now we need thirty five. Uh, thirty five steel plate. I, I know as much as I love this part of the game it's also a scramble okay. and and the 10 the 10 steel plate it's going to cost to make that furnace is a really good investment so um I know I may just have to all right ah oh, yeah we can do that later so what we have now is we also have our so we need to get more iron we need to do our commerce commission uh, commerce inspection and I need to just check and see what other missions I have I need to go fishing again poor Dawa he's waited so long for this stew ah and we need to build a construction crane all right let's get this commerce guild inspection done and then I might have a look and see what that construction crane is going to take I think it's the steel cable uh, so steel cable we can find in the hazardous ruins where we hunt the where we hunt the um, that other thing we're looking for Iron. I know. What was that about? Getting tired. Up there. There we go. Confirm. There's something different here. Yeah, there it is. It was just more sticky outy than the rest. 
our once a week look at the boards we're, we're slowly slowly catching up to Higgins oh my giddy out that takes time doesn't it all right there's nothing on the board no we haven't missed that I think in that case it is time to check and see what that oh we don't need to check and see what the crane requires we know it is time to take the tuk-tuk or the dd all the way out To the Porsche full stop. Yeah, that's it there. So we're going to um, denude the landscape. We're going to try for about a thousand timber before we head back in. And we'll of course try and get as much purple resin as we can. Uh, I, I forget, honestly, I forget what it's for, but it's something that, that you need for, for some of the important commissions. Uh, and then if we have time, we're going to have an exciting time down the mines getting some iron and some relics and some steel cable. Although it probably would be easier if I got the steel cable from um, from the hazardous ruins. And we haven't done a hazardous ruins run, but we won't do that this episode, I don't think. I know, running with axes. Let's, um, let's just move the things we're interested in down into our hotbar so we can see our progress. Alright, no. No ironwood out of that one. Honestly, these don't give a lot of ironwood anyway. It's the other ones that do. So what do we say? A thousand timber. Because we need the hardwood for the... Um, the, the wooden flooring, the conductive wooden flooring. That's right, I can't chop that pine tree. Rude. Alright, we are nearly there with our hun first hundred. I know, 10% down, I'm celebrating. Oh man, you gotta celebrate something. Alright, that looks like a nice, neat row of trees. Let's go and deal with that. We're not really after the hardwood so much as just the wood, but um, it would be nice to get a bunch of hardwood as well. And we're not doing too badly with it, so... hanging out for the next news of Sandrock. Uh, very soon we should have, well I'm hoping to see, to see it coming. That was a good lot of resin. And we're getting some nice ironwood. Okay, 250. We're a quarter of the way to our thousand trees. There is a tree chopping achievement in Steam for uh, my time at Porsche. You don't need to sweat getting it. If you're playing the game through, you're going to get it just by playing the game um, and chopping the trees that you need for your, your crafting as you go. It's around 300. We've got a fireside too. The question is, can I get this chopping done before the uh, it's time to go and attend that? I'm not sure. And if I if I hear the bell, am I going to get back in time? There are some big trees out here. Well, okay, there were some big trees out here. Then I came along and chopped them down. Not getting a lot of ironwood today. I think I've chopped down most of the big iron woody kind of trees. Nope, speak of little devils.
it's very tempting to say that this lot of hardwood I'm going to dedicate to um, to making wood out of because that would save me a, an amount of time no pun intended all right I, what I'm trying to do is just methodically clear um, each area uh, before I go back to it We're halfway there. Something tells me we're not going to make our thousand before we have to run for that fireside. But we're going to do our best. We are back on the map again, I notice. I know, those people out at Sandrock would be appalled at the destruction I'm doing here. Maybe it's a good thing our builders can't attend Sandrock from Portia. It would be good to migrate them though. Done my thing in Portia, saved the town. Time to head to Sandrock. But I don't think it crosses very well. The games have got like a slightly different feel. That took a bit to do. Oh, out of stamina. Fine. That's what we forgot to do. We forgot to check the um, the requirements for a drying rack. And we need to get that up and running because apples take time to dry. I'm trying to work out why I have an arrow on my map. Why do I have an arrow on my map? Oh, okay, that's why. Because I haven't done Emily's well yet. That's okay, Emily's well will happen. I just need to wait for the uh, the ingredients to cook. And I think that's we're down to two more, one more bearing. So that should happen overnight. We'll do that next episode. In the meantime... I'm so far away from any DD stop at the moment, it's insane. Look at this waterfall. Alright, we're going to stop at this tree and I'm going to see if I can get back. I'm thinking I might need to um, try and make it to the... Oh boy. I was going to say to the... Um to the sewage plant ruins but actually it might just be oh no there we go so maybe if I can if I can get into the um, the wilderness area where I know run but try not to miss it So what I'm thinking is if I can get into this area over here, we can catch the um, the DD out from in front of the the sewage plant. Let's just see if we can get there. I'm a little bit lost, but I think I need to go that way. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is where we um we we filled up the hole. I wonder if one day they're going to open up that as something we can explore. That would be so cool. Oops. Trust someone to try and poop on my head when I'm minding my own business.
Oops, hey, wait. Oh, man. I think I need it to be up here. <laughs> there we go. I know. I, I nearly got completely lost for a minute. There's a crystal formation up there. All right. Oh, man, we're so late. Let's go, Peach Plaza, stop. It's quicker than us trying to run there. Just need to wait. I know, and the DD driver's like, you're making me late for the for the fire side. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm late too. We'll be late together. Here we go. Ooh. Welcome oh, everyone. Right. It's a nice Sunday evening that we're having. I've got some wonderful news to share today. Then we'll pass out some pies. Mm -mm. The city-state of Sandrock and our city of Portia have agreed to build a road through the Eufaula Desert between our cities. This will cut travel time by more than half. Hey, cool. That's wonderful. Why Sandrock? There's nothing there but hot sand. Clearly, Toadie. This is a good business opportunity. Toadie has not heard about the sand fishing. Where did you get the money to fund this? Good question, my dear. The <laughs> governments of both cities will fund this road together. During my time in office, we've built up sufficient reserves so the funding isn't a problem. This is a part of a grand plan that I've been building over the past year to make Portia a center for commerce and travel in the free cities. Nice. Allow me to introduce Mint. He's an engineer from Vega 5. Hello. He'll be spearheading the building of the road. The builders in Portia and Sandrock will help bring this to fruition. We'll have a meeting tomorrow to discuss how we're going to go about it. In other news, Gust has submitted a proposal for a hot air oh, park man. around the duck pond. Folks have been requesting this for a long time, and it's finally on my desk. I'll be securing the funding for it as soon as I can, as it fits into my overall plan for Portia. That's all for tonight, folks. Come up and get your pies, courtesy of Granny Sophie. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. Let's go and get some pie. Here you go. Enjoy. No worries. Let's meet this young fella here. Hmm. Hi. Thanks for always helping out. I doubt Portia would be making half as much progress without you. Man, what has the mayor been saying about me? See you. That's a bit scary. Hi, Gust. Um? Yeah, I'm watching where I'm going. I'm running right into you so I can give you supper. Here you go. Looks like you spent some thought on this. I did. Enjoy. Those fish have been in my backpack for nearly a month. <laughs> Alright, so we did, didn't quite get our thousand timber, but we did get a ton of it, which I'm pretty happy with. Let's just check our hardwood supplies, foraging, and we've got ooh, 898, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go and see how we're going with our with our um, our crafting of steel plate. We have another five coming. That means we have eleven. We have enough to build the the thing. You know, I know. I'm like Emily's waited this long for her well. We could make her wait a little bit longer and and set everything up so that next episode what we're doing is. Um, uh oh, we're out of iron ore. Is while we're down down the mine mining, we don't have to worry about the fueling situation, which means we would have a ton more timber all of a sudden, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. What are you working on? Carbon steel bars. Oh no. Alright, yeah, we definitely need that iron ore. So that'll happen next episode. Emily's well will happen next episode. And the furnace. Ah, uh, and the conductive wooden flooring will happen next episode as well. And if we can get enough steel cable from out of the ruins, or possibly out of the um, out of the sewage plant ruins, because I don't think we've completed those yet, but if you can get enough steel cable out of that, we might make our crane and complete that next episode as well. Um, we, we really are going to have to... Look to upgrading our. Let me just. I think that was meant to be copper. Yep. Upgrading our. 
assembly station very soon and making our yard bigger because we're rapidly running out of room here. All right. Let's see if we can make ourselves another bearing. So we'll get, okay, we'll get two up. That's even better. Uh, there was something else, steel cable, but I don't want to make that because I want to make, I want to make a ton of steel bars, steel, uh, steel plate because we need, we still need about 30. We need 24 hour, I oh know we need a lot more of these. We need 24 hour furnaces. Uh, we need 10 for our industrial furnace, which we've got. And I think we need about four for Emily as well. Let's just get this fiber cloth up and running. Uh, it is a good thing I didn't order more worn fur. Now I know where all my funding went. I, I'd already on, ordered it. We've got 20 leather. We are going to need some more. Um, but 20 leather should should probably take care of the, the balloon park thing. So we'll probably have that come up next episode as well. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Let's keep these rocking. We only have 187 of them. We're going to need a ton more. Alright, can I add more steel plate to my list? I now have 12. All right, by morning, we're going to have enough for Emily. That's pretty good. So. I think, I think on this note, rather than put our poor little builder through iron mining, we are going to put her to bed. So I'm just going to grab our processed. We're going to put all our processed stuff away. And I've got some hardening stuff that we need to go into a crafting box. Let's pop it in here. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a, um, a drying rack and I can't remember if the drying rack is furniture. Oh, yes it is. All right. We're going to craft that up now, I think. Uh, I'll put two I'll put two on. That'll do. All right. And what we might do is we might uh, just find somewhere to set them up. Why don't we set them up right near the trees? That'll just make it easier when we harvest. We can just go straight on and put everything in here. Where are our apples? Good. So now what we'll do is we'll craft. We're going to craft dried apple slices. We're going to ask for all of them. Now, a... Um, An aroma apple will give you 20 energy, but dried apple slice will give you 10% of your max stamina. And seeing as our stamina is at about 400, that'll give us 40, which doubles the use of our aroma apples. So we'll get those drying as well. All right, we're just going to leave those cook. That's going to help us a lot in our mining later on. And on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe, and I'll check you later. Take care out there.